Where the devil should this Romeo be? Not to his Came father. Came home last night? Not to his father's. I spoke with his man. Tybalt, the kinsman of old Capulet, hath sent him, sent a letter to his father's house. <laughs> I challenge uh, on my life. Romeo will answer it. Any man that can write can answer a letter. Nay, he will answer the letter's master how he dares be dared. <laughs> oh, alas, poor Romeo. He is already dead. Stabbed with the white wench's black eye. Shot in the ear with a love song. The very pin of his heart cleft with a blind bow boy's butt shout. <laughs> and is he a man to encounter Tybalt? Why, what is Tybalt? Oh, more than Prince of Cats, I can tell you. Why, he is the courageous captain of compliments. He fights like you sing prick songs, keeps time, distance, proportion. <laughs> rest him his minimum rest, then one, two, and the third in your bosom. The very butcher of a silk pattern. A duelist. Ooh. A duelist. <laughs> a gentleman of the first house. Of the very first? And second cause. Ooh. I, the immortal Pasado. I, the Punto <laughs> Reverso. Uh, I, the what? The pox of such antics, these lisping, affecting, fantastical, these tuners of accents. By Jesu, what a fine sword. Mm, what a fine man. What a fine whore. Why should we be thus affected, grandsire, by, by these, 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 Fashion mongers, these, these pardon him was, these strange flies, who rest so much on the new floor, they cannot at ease on the old bench. Their bones, oh, their bones. Here comes Romeo. Here comes Romeo. 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 Without his robe. Romeo. Ah, oh, like a dried herring. Flesh, flesh. Thou art fishified. What is you, Signor Romeo? There's a French salutation for your French lot. You uh, gave us a counterfeit last night. Good morrow to you both. <clears throat> what counterfeit did I give him? The slip, sir. The slip. Canst thou not conceive? Pardon, good Mercutio. My business was great, and in such a case as mine, mm -hmm. a man may strain a courtesy. Ooh, such a case as yours may constrain a man to bow in the hand. Ah! Meaning to curtsy. <laughs> Thou hast most kindly hit it. Ooh. True, uh, a most, a most courteous expedition. Nay, I am the very pink of courtesy. Pink for flower. Right. Why then is my pump no flower? <laughs> uh, I can't be queen of Bambolio, my witch faint. Swits and spurs. Swits and spurs are all cry a match. <laughs> Nay, if thou wouldst run the wild goose chase, uh, I am done. For thou hast more of the wild goose in one of thy wit than I have in one of mine five, I'm sure. <laughs> thou was. Uh, was I with you there for the goose? Oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, the one of the, uh, in one of my wits, and thou hast in one of uh, thou, thou. I have more of the wild goose in one of thy wits than I have in one of my five. In all of my five, I am sure. Was I there for the goose? Thou was never with me for anything, for thou was not there. Or the goose! <laughs> <laughs> I will bite thee here for that jest. Nay, good goose, but not. <laughs> now, is not this better than groaning for love? Now art thou Romeo. Now art thou sociable. Now art thou what thou art in art as well as nature. For all this dribbling about love is like some great natural wits. Their laws up and down to hide his bottle in a hole, huh? <laughs> stop there, stop there. Dost thou not desirest that I tell the tale of the hair? Here's the goose. Hair? Push me out of this. Oh, sorry, Here's sir. Sorry. Yeah, my mistake. Keep going. Dost does thou not desirest that I tell the tale of the hair? <laughs> Here's goodly gear. A sail! A sail! sail. sail. Two, two, a shirt and a smock. Peter, oh, my fan, Peter. Her fan, Peter, to hide her face. For her fan is the fair face. God ye good morrow, gentlemen. God ye good den, fair gentlewoman. <laughs> <laughs> is it good den? Aye, tis no less. 
for the body hand is upon the very prick of noon. <laughs> Out upon you! What's the matter, you? The one gentleman that God himself hath made. Himself to Mars. Oh, my God, that is well said for himself to Mars. <laughs> 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 of a worse. You say well. Mm -hmm. If you be he, sir, I desire some confidence with you. She is ignited to some trouble. Avon, 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 the hole has the found. No air, sir, unless a Lenten pie that is something stale and horrid be spread oh, there. Oh, oh. <laughs> to hear himself talk, and will speak more in a minute than he will stand to in a month. <laughs> and he speak anything against me, I'll take him down, and he will rustier than he is, and twenty such jacks, and if I cannot, I'll find those that shall. Scurvy name. I am none of his flirt gills, I am none of his king's mate. And thou must stand by too and suffer every knave to use me as pleasure? Did I skip something? I saw no man use you a pleasure. If I had, my weapon should have quickly been out. I warrant you, I dare draw as soon as another man, if I see occasion, a good quarrel, and the law on my side. <laughs> now, poor God, I am so blessed that every part about me quivers. I pray you, sir, a word, and as I told you, my young lady bade me inquire you out. What she bade me say, I will keep to myself. But first, let me tell you, if ye should lead her into a fool's paradise, as they say, it were a very gross kind of behavior, as they say, and very weak. Dealing. Yes. Command me, then, to thy lady and mistress. I protest unto thee. In faith, I will. <laughs> oh, Lord, she will be a joyful. What wilt thou tell her, nurse? Thou dost not mark me. I will tell her that you do protest, which, as I take it, is a very gentlemanlike offer. Bid her devise some means to come and be tripped this afternoon, and there she shall at Friar Lawrence's cell be tried and Here is for thy page. No, truly, sir, not then. Go to, I say. Yes, <laughs> this afternoon, <laughs> she shall be there. Uh, oh, yeah, she shall be there. And then the hand trails and then She shall be there. That's great. The commitment is to thy lady. Why, a thousand times. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> <laughs> 